получается в Golden Canyon. So we're going to talk in English because there are some people who don't understand the Canyon or Russian. So, um, my name is Polina. I'm the representative of the Ken Chaki. Um, some of them, I'm sure, know about the Ken Chaki. And um, it's my good pleasure to introduce to you Anton and Tori. They're very brave, very enthusiastic, very intelligent young students from Kiev, uh, Trashchen University. They both studying physics. And apart from that, Anton, he is a freelance English teacher. He was visiting 14 countries so far. And his philosophy, the core of man's spirit, comes from new experience. Yeah, it, well, it's more than 14 countries by now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And also he is the volunteer for the International Association of Physics Students. Yeah, we're both yeah. And Torek's uh, philosophy, to make up stories, he will never tell, tell his grandchildren. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was visiting more than 17 countries so far. Uh, right now it's a uh, 22nd country. Yeah, so, like, equal to my age. Oh, okay, so each of us should visit so many countries with our age. This is, should be our age. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm uh, Tolik and Anton going to tell you about the hitchhiking experience from Ukraine all over the Europe to the UK. They're going now to Edinburgh to attend the conference of the Physics Student Conference. Yes. And they have been passing 20, 20 countries and 10 countries and around 20 cities. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct? Something like that. I and uh, the main part of doing that, they're doing that for the charity. And particularly for one orphanage in Makarivsky Rayon, Kivska Oblast, and the slow. Um, can we say it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Mustache. Mustache slow. The reason is because a few days ago we have been contacted by the director of that Mustache saying, guys, can you not tell our name? Because if the authorities will find it out that our name is all over the, the world and about this terrible pictures of our orphanage and about the situation there, I will lose my job as a director and people get in trouble because they don't have things done in Ukraine. Um, okay, we deleted all this name from all our social media, it's not on the website anymore, but still we tell this to people because um, we shouldn't fear that. People should know where is that and what, what's going on in Ukraine. So if somebody donate money, at least they know why they are doing that and for what particular place they are doing that. And uh, Ukraine charity just last week, we bought them two washing machines, one dryer and one air cleaner for that orphanages. And just before, the day before, two weeks ago, Anton and Tolik left for the trip. They visited the orphanage by themselves. They've been there, they saw the showers there. Yes. They took some pictures there so they can tell you from their first-hand experience. And, um, they will tell you exactly how much they want to raise and why they're doing that. But so they're going to talk about their experience, which people they met through a year, how many cars gave them a lift, how many hours or days they've been waiting for another car to give them a lift. And I can only imagine how tiring is that because, for example, if I'm driving to Ukraine by plane, for three hours I'm thinking, oh, I'm so tired, it's taken me like a day and now I have to take three days off mm -hmm. just to get rest. And can you imagine guys coming for 40 days, just with only one bag of their belongings, they came on the side of the road like it's, it's and stopped the bag. car <laughs> and they never know which car is going to stop them, they never know how many hours they're going to wait for their next car and how far that car will take them. So I think this is extremely brave advantage and I'm so curious to hear about your stories and thank you so much for coming. Okay, I'm passing on to you guys. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for coming because we didn't expect so many people in here and uh, it's really a pleasure to be here in the hub of all the Ukrainians in London. Uh, we were really excited to come to the United Kingdom, it's first time for you. Yeah, it's the first time for me and uh, I even didn't notice that yesterday before Anton said that, okay, did you see that the cars is going uh, uh, yeah, in the opposite direction? Okay, they are right side. Why are we driving on the left? Yeah. <laughs> are we driving on the left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yes, it seems, it seems it happens. Yeah, so the thing is that in the UK you have to hitchhike with your other hand. <laughs> 
which we didn't try yet. So yeah, yeah, we will. And uh, yes, uh, so just in short, uh, like we always begin our video episodes. How many of you guys saw a video of our episode? Uh, three people. Oh, uh, about four. Uh, but okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, I think we'll start from from the origins of that, how we made up that project, and uh, okay. so how we came I'm also of your mind. Of course, uh, uh, it have it starts like sec uh, previous summer. We have been to other trip uh, to the Netherlands, and in one point uh, we decide, okay, it would be very interesting to film all all the things happens to us and show the people because. Uh, we usually like doing some photos, writing some um, small, text small, small text blocks, like a few sentences in in the social networks, and after a few likes, it just stops and nothing else. No, yeah, uh, no so, so, output. There was a lot of material which was fun, and uh, we have them on our computer. And then at some point, we sit in our kitchen and we scroll through it, and uh, yeah, I you know that was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but no one knows else about that, so we decide, okay, we, we need to yeah, try right, to want to share. Yeah, want to share our uh, emotions, uh, things happens to us. So and uh, later in the March, or in the beginning of April. Uh, we were um, we again. yeah we were hitchhiked again and, and we were to France. Uh, we stayed on that gas station about seven hours and yes, it was the second big hitchhiking fail. Seven, yeah, seven hours. <laughs> and we decided, oh, and there was like a lot of time to talk each to other because we don't really have time to talk in Kiev. We pretty busy and yeah, uh, although we're at the flat together, it, there is never time. Yeah, there is no time <laughs> you to talk. Know how it yeah, uh, so we have like seven hours to discuss that project and we decide, okay, it should be something really big and great. Yeah, and then we made this big whole mind map and we just brainstormed for several days and it was a lot of megabytes of information. <laughs> just we should do that, we should, we should make a reference to that and when we're traveling we will film and we will add uh, those components to the videos yeah. and we will have a website online and well, a lot of things we, uh, we try to do but not all of them are going into the exact project you can see in our website. Yeah, but this is this is what came out. Yeah, so it's like always you you have a lot of ideas, but in the end you uh, do only some very necessary of them. So uh, we will start to talk about how it starts. So uh, we are the Ukrainian, and yeah. the brand Ukrainian is the. Uh, First Ukrainian charity hitchhike from Ukraine to Scotland, and this is our logo. You can tell how it came, how it came to be. Yeah, so uh, this logo was made uh, for uh, with our friend, uh, just for free for us for that project, and we're really uh, thankful for that for him. Uh, so we started like 20 days ago. It's already 20, uh, 22nd day, but. It's day number 20. Yeah, it's day number 20. And uh, we start from Kiev. Okay, so we'll do the photos. Yeah, we will do the photos and try to, um, to, to leave the most interesting pieces of our story. Hmm. Okay, am I under the Yeah, you 